like the amount of jobs that are gonna be created that are in this AI field is gonna be big. And like, if we look at, like there's like now this new job title, actually, it's called an AI engineer. This article, which is that like 53% of all global venture capitalist dollars are, have been in AI stuff. Hey everyone, so in this video, I wanna talk about like this article, which is that like 53% of all global venture capitalist dollars are, have been in AI stuff, like AI startups, AI whatever. And I wanna talk about like, hey, like what does this mean? Like what can you actually do? Like how would I like redo like kind of like my CS stuff, knowing that like hey, AI is just massively, massively growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And I wanna talk about like a couple of things here. One, which is that like AI is growing. And I also don't think it's like actually even near its peak. We can look at this article uh, from Pew Research is like a survey. They very, very, very accurate surveys. And on June 25th, they said, okay, 34% of US adults have used ChatGPT, double the share in 2023, which it's showing, okay, okay, obviously it's growing, it grew very, very big. But like for the people who are programmers, you know, AI, you've like probably seen it, you've probably played around with it, but there's like a ton of new people in the United States who aren't even using it really. And if you've, even if we look at really, really big companies, they're not using it that much. And so the point here is that like, we're still really, really early. Um, although this is like very, very crazy. Like, I still think that like, it's going to go bigger. And um, I want to make this because I think that you should be at least it, what I would be doing if I was a programmer, if I was a college major, if I was a if I was a college student studying computer science or I want like a software engineering job, like the amount of jobs that are going to be created that are in this AI field is going to be big. And like if we look at like there's like now this new job title, actually, it's called an AI engineer. Um, and there's particularly there's a lot of startups who want people who have chat GPT, Claude, LLM experience, and they'll offer it. And in this case, like this company wants Python, they want like prompt engineering as a skill too. Like there's just like a new thing. It's the same thing as a software engineer. The only difference is it's called AI and you do prompt engineering and work with large language models. Oh my gosh, right? Like some of it, like they want this, but like LLM evaluation frameworks, like they want you to be able to tell the difference. What's like the best LLM that we should be using for our company. And it's a different skill. And it's also really important because when you have 50% of all the funding is going to AI startups, they want people who know AI stuff, which know the LLM stuff. And so this is something I would totally, totally be doing because again, as I said before, I think it's only going to grow. Um, I don't think we've hit the peak. If we look at like crypto hype, um, for some reason, like a lot of like programmers are considering this like the same as like crypto. And I don't understand why, because crypto like doesn't really have like a, an inherent value, but like the chat GPT stuff, you can see it has inherent value. You could see that there are probably millions and millions and millions of dollars that can be saved using chat GPT to answer stuff. I was like, I don't know that just in my, in my, like from me looking at it, it just seems very obvious that you can do it for that. But like crypto is like, you can't really NFTs, not really, you know, drop shipping, stuff like that. But like, this is like tangible, like you could use this to save tons of time. And if you can save time, you can save money. Right. So it, it the value prop just seems like way bigger for me. Anyways, all of the say is that like, I would totally just play around with it. Maybe it does cap out. And then I, in which case, okay, I guess you lost your time getting good at this stuff. Or like now you qualify for all these like AI engineer positions. 140k a year this other one you need five years of experience with also ai stuff and the thing is just not enough software engineers are even playing around with this the number of software engineers who actually care to do learn this stuff and the amount of youtube videos that are out there to not teach this stuff is also like very very small and so uh the, there's a reason why i'm talking about this because i'm gonna start making more videos actually like going over stuff like this and like building up like these kind of skills because i think it's going to be more and more relevant um it, it just yeah from what i can tell um, AI engineer here, six years experience, be able to use rags, embedding agents. And then MCP is also going to be like a really big thing, I think, because it's just super powerful. And then in the sense, okay, in the case, okay, you watch this video, you're actually like not a computer science person, or it's your first year in CS and you don't know like what you can do with this, go play around with lovable, like make an account and build out like a website and like an application, like you can literally use it. It's like, this thing is like a wrapper for Claude code. And like, I would be trying to like build out like, again, just knowledge on this open AI anthropic. These are the keywords I would have on my resume, ML API uh large language models fine tuning how do you fine tune a, a language model you know i don't know right like this is the stuff that i would want to have just more of this stuff another thing i want to mention here too right so what i would be using level if i had no idea like let's talk about low code no code where you just type into a thing you don't even learn how to code you don't even know how to code you just type this thing in and build apps and then just like play around with it i think that's still great i think you can build a lot of really powerful stuff but if you want to keep going down the rabbit hole like there is so much money on school like they show out like they show how much money everybody in tech is making it they have like communities of people they have courses inside and it's just like an education platform there is so many people who are 
dying to learn how to use AI. Out of the 34% of US adults that have used ChatGPT ever, uh, this is my understanding it's ever, I actually haven't, who has used it. 41%, 10% have ever, had never used it. 25% say the same. 41% under the age of 30 to 49. So we have it here. So 58%, okay, 58% of young people, sure, whatever. Okay, out of the 58%, this guy's making, he's not a coder. None of these people are coders. Like they don't, like they just kind of jumped in. They were like, oh, I can use AI to make some really, really powerful stuff here because I can see the point that when I like, you know, have a chat GPT and I can have the right essays for me, well, maybe I can get it to summarize other things. Maybe I can get it to analyze things and maybe I can get it to write out emails for me. This person, right, is making $160,000 every single month just teaching people who teaching some of the 58% here who want to learn these things because it's really, really powerful. And you've got robo nuggets, which is another like AI thing. Oh, AI automations, AI, AI, like no code, AI profit, AI printers, AI, AI, like there's just so much and they're all making like crazy amounts to where it's like 50K a month, like just teaching people how to do this stuff. One, like the demand is there. There's a ton of people who want to use these tools. And so like the, the kind of segmentation here is that you have a ton of people who want to learn these, who want to use them in their businesses. And then you have like the coders who aren't touching this at all because like they it's kind of like it's not they see like the potential they see like the the bad parts of it but if you're a beginner you're just now starting you can talk to a business person you can talk to your friends you can talk to your family you can build out tools just like this for them they will love it because there's like there's just so many people who do love this thing you'll build it for them and they'll probably even pay you too honestly like you probably ask for like a little bit of money and actually like get the experience because you built out a react python you connected it to an llm now you can put all that package into a resume that you can talk about in interviews and at the same time you can actually play around learn the ai stuff and then in the future like next year when people are using ai things or whenever that stuff's happening like you can you're you kind of you understand like the game a little bit more you understand how to fine tune you understand how to you prompt it properly like you can play around with things and so that is why like i would be doing this that is why i would be going into ai so much is because like this just seems like a really really clear like just value prop like because you're saving time and then you can build out tools you can build out the experience and it's just so much easier like now than ever where all you have to do is just ask your friends ask your family like literally ask your mom ask your dad hey do you have an ai app idea cool and then think about like how what would it look like building it or you even ask ai hey chat gpt how would i do it i don't know how to do it chat gpt tell me and you just code it up for that and then like ask it to explain it to you after and this is where we get into how do you use the ai stuff smart which is that you do not just code it and then say oh hey like chat gpt build it and then you just kind of sit back and don't think about anything and then you see if it works or not and that's like all the brain power that you're using no 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 you have to activate your brain either tell it to explain it to you and try the learning that way or you try doing it yourself. So you tell it, you try doing it yourself, you tell it to give you hints. Or you just like do it, but then at the same time, like you try struggling and building out yourself, but like you need to get through those because that's what's gonna actually build the learning. When you learn, you can keep it to you for the future. You separate yourself from all the people who are doing the AI tools who aren't learning anything. And um, yeah, so a lot of AI talk in this, but um, again, I think it's super important. It's something that like I would be doing for sure. And um, hopefully this helps and it kind of points you guys in the right direction. If I was like a new grad coder, I would be playing around with Claude code. If I was like really, really scared of coding and I'm not like an actual coder, I don't want to code ever again. I would be playing with Lovable or like something like similar to that. And I would be building apps like for my friends, family, like ask them because I know they have, they for sure have an app idea and tell them like, hey, I'm, I'm looking for any app ideas and they'll, they'll tell you one. And then at the end, if you want, you can charge. Uh, this is a other kind of thing where I'm just going to be talking to the camera probably once a day just like this um and I want to make a video like every single day where I'm just kind of giving my thoughts on uh on things and uh we'll see where it goes where it takes me so if you guys enjoyed it uh I have other videos on my channel I've got like an AI one that I'll try to link of like an AI tool that I built if you want to see like kind of where the AI stuff is at and then I also have a another video on like me solving leak code problems um and then also like my thoughts on on the job market so if you're interested on those um check them out and I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks.